Good morning, everyone. This is Silver Sprout with another video um, about taming. So today's video, I'm focusing on the uh, bestiary to just explain how it works. So the bestiary is uh, basically a codex, like a weapon codex for tamers. And as you level the bestiary, you get um, various upgrades for your pets. Um, and then I'll go through each one just to help people understand what this codex does and why it's important uh, for overall damage now as a tamer. Um, so underdog here, it gives you uh, quite a damage boost at 0.7% damage and 0.2% damage reduction or resistance um, for each taming point above the creature's taming level and um, you can have a max of 70 skill difference which means that you'll get the most benefit out of uh, lower taming level pets like at level 50 you'll get uh, 70 times 0.7% um, for the bonus for damage and same with the damage resistance um, and then you also get five stable, uh, stable slots, uh, to unlock for stable space, which is really helpful. Um, then your level two ability here, you have Beastmaster one, you get four damage, four percent damage and one percent damage resistance. Um, and then you get achievement points by unlocking the Beastmaster, uh, levels as well. And you get another five stable slots. Then Thrifty here gives you a chance to not consume reagents, bandages, or vet supplies when you're healing, which is super important for, um, let's say, mages at a boss in case you are starting to run low on reagents. That'll save you some um, trouble there. Like you'll last twice as long, basically, if it adds the 50%. Um, yeah, all right, and then Beastmaster 2. Uh, all the Beastmasters are the same, so I'm going to skip uh, those there, but they all give that 4% damage bonus and 1% damage resistance. All right, we have Animal Rescue here. This is going to increase your resurrection uh, health when they first revive, which is really good. Usually, I think it's, um, I don't even know what it is, maybe 5% health when you revive them. But Animal Rescue gives you 25% health, which is significant. Helps out a lot at bosses uh, when you're constantly reviving pets. Um, yeah, it's great. Then you have Curatives here. This increases your cure chance uh, from poison uh, for your creatures. Then you have Field Doctor here, which is going to increase the amount of healing that you do, which is... A really really good uh, unlock as well that's similar to what water aspect will give you um, increases your healing amounts pretty significantly if you're doing vet heals let's say for 60 then you're going to get about nine more health per heal and that can be um, that can be a lot of uh, I, I guess it can be the difference between life and death of a pet depending on where you're farming all right, so those are the upgrades for um, the bestiary, and you see all these point values. So now to explain the point value system. So every pet that you use will gain experience based on the gold farmed um, divided by the slots of the creature itself. And um, the amount of gold that it takes in order to get uh, the points here per creature is different. So each creature itself, once you reach max experience, you get five points. And um, taming level 50, for instance, pets at level 50, I think I have one here, a familiar, only requires 50,000 gold farmed in order to reach its max, max experience. But a level 120 creature here requires 120,000. So every five levels, the creature uh, level, sorry, taming level increases. Um, 
you add another 5k to be farmed in order to reach your max experience. So uh, like I said earlier, the gold farmed is divided by the slots of the creature. So for instance, the Eldritch Dragon here is a three slot pet. So if I were to farm 10k with this particular team here, Lemura, Eldritch Dragon, and let's just say another one slot that's doing damage, then I would only get um, uh, three slots worth of whatever that is. So if you divide the 10k by five, let's say that's um, 2k, so I would get 6k experience for every 10k farmed with the Eldritch Dragon. Um, so if you run a team, let's say of five smaller pets, if I had five familiars, for instance, then I would literally uh, only have to farm 50, 50k gold in order to get the 50k experience for the familiars. But generally the teams are split up into multiples of let's say like five different um, one slot pets or like a Eldritch Dragon, a Lemura and something else. So most likely your experience is gonna be um, splintered. And there's no problem with that. It just takes a little bit longer to level each pet. But yeah, you can literally use any pet you want. Um, I don't know for sure. I haven't checked yet if it works for any pet below uh, Taming 50. But um, I know the benefits of the book itself, they work for any pets regardless of the taming level. And I've heard it works for your summons as well if you're a summoner. But um, that is to be tested. I don't know that information yet. Uh, as far as the bestiary goes, I believe that covers everything. Um, I'm going to do a two-in-one video here. There's someone who wondered about using a pack horse with uh, Eldritch Dragon and a tank. Like in Ozawary, for instance, if you don't have camping on your tamer, you might consider doing this. Uh, a lot of griefers take down your horse or llama, but uh, in groups, this is an amazing kind of combo. Just because um, if the llama or horse dies, everyone can just take the loot off of it and run away safely. So, we're going to go to Ozawary, kind of deep in Ozawary. Who knows how this is going to go? I've never done it before, but I did get my hotkey set up. So, I can say stop to the horse, which is highly recommended. I'll show it here. Oops, that's a bad kit. So, I have the horse to stop. You can do all follow. And then I have patrol now, which I've never set up before for the tank. You can just send the tank right in. So it takes aggro first and you don't get hit by hierarchs, for instance. Should work out fine. There, we'll do a patrol for that guy, see? So he'll take the aggro there. We have two rag witches on us, but it should be okay. Oops. Uh-oh. I'm at best here to not die. Ragwitch is always switch aggro, which I really don't like, so I don't like fighting him. Alright, not too bad though. I skip all these mobs. Ouch. I'll fight these guys just to not get hit ourselves. Oh yeah, and I'm running Fortune just to show um, 
you don't have to run water aspect. I do enjoy enjoy running fortune for the most part. Versus water, I mean. So yeah, this seems to work just fine. The damage from the Eldritch Dragon is obviously super high. See how we do against High Arcs. This works real good, and then, you know, generally you can shoot from a distance if you have a long shot and just take the loot. Seems to work very well. So in this case, we'll stop the horse. We will um, try to grab the high arc. We'll get it next. It's fine. Drag these guys this direction in a second. Usually you don't want to drag more than one mob, but you can probably tank two mobs at a time here. I don't even know what Codex 1 I'm doing. So I have maiming going on. Um, in this place, maiming is probably best or long shot. Just depends on kind of what you want. So we're going to send Lamura in. Let him take the aggro. And then we'll shoot the higher from here. As long as we hinder the guy. Yeah, we just hindered it. So he shouldn't be able to do another um, fireball drop. Hopefully. It's not a big deal if he does. We'll just run and heal right after this. There we go. Haunts area. Run into heal. You can leave your horse behind with the hotkey too, like I set up earlier. So we just hindered. We don't have to worry about a haunt. Run back here. You see, it works pretty well. Um, Hierarch's gonna try to hit us here. I'm gonna try to hinder that guy. Uh, can't do it. Lumber might die here. Yep. It's okay, we're gonna try to hinder him still. I'm pretty daring, obviously. <laughs> there we go, we hindered him. <laughs> He's dead. He's back to spirit now. Oops. Just in time. See, so yeah, it's pretty easy farming overall, it seems. Um, probably better in a group because you could possibly bring two Aldrich Drakes and not have to tank. Oops. Yeah, the dragons are incredibly strong anyway. 
Get out of DPS. DPS is most teams. That'd be a good thing to test, actually, DPS down here. Too late now, but, uh... Just curious. Yeah, not bad, honestly. That's about what you're going to get on most builds. Besides tamer builds that are full DPS. And you're we wearing a fortune suit here, so... DPS is much lower than it would be with, like, command or... Water suit or uh, water suit command weapon, I meant to say. We're just gonna stand in this. Let's get a heal off. Oh, I need to turn that gem system off. New gems look awful. Alright, so I think you guys get it. It's pretty straightforward overall. You just have your horse stay, and you can run it to heal. Let's see if that's as easy as I said. I don't know. Yeah, it won't. Well, that one did. <laughs> that's okay. actually look nice. Rubies. They look like rubies. These guys are totally not worth fighting, by the way, on light server. They don't give enough gold. They happen to have a lot of gold because um, no one farms on test server and there's uh, accumulative gold here. And just on the server itself. So the longer the mobs are alive, the more gold they have. Otherwise, they don't drop much for all the health that they have. Alright. So it pretty much passed the damage test for my liking. It's not a slow farmer, that's for sure. You can pretty much do any content. The only problem being our griefers killing your pack llama or pack horse. Like mentioned earlier. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this real good. Hopefully pro at this stuff. Ah, I missed one step. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. I um, hope it was very helpful for the bestiary and also just an alternative uh, to carry your loot. If you don't have to have camping on your build, camping, I think, is more for Dexers because, or Dexers or other characters that uh, don't have pets. Pets can carry gold, you know, like pack horses. And not Sorry, not pack horses, but um, mule trait animals like the burrow bugs and uh, bulvores, other pets like that, they do decent damage and they carry 50 stones per slot, um, which is a lot. It really is. It means that 100 stones, a two-slot pet, is equivalent to having 50 camping. 
All right, guys. I uh, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you for the next video.